wait for it, folks. Another weather delay here in Petticoat Junction. 30 minutes uh, kind of going into it, and you'll kind of reevaluate each time it happens. So it's sort of an ongoing thing. Low kick. And that's going to be Patterson. And he's got room to run. He's got the sideline. Well, and Dre Patterson is gone for a South Aiken touchdown. I'm a wide open man for a touchdown. That is Antonio Williams. Down the middle, wide open, touchdown. Williams Antonio Williams. Antonio Williams on the return for Lincoln County, and he's got room, and Antonio Williams has the sideline. Antonio Williams, 65 yards, touchdown, Lincoln County. Antonio Williams with his third touchdown of the night. Four wide for the Musketeers, going for it all. It is complete. It is DT Stevens. It is a touchdown, Richmond Academy. Oh, here's a huge pickup by Green. First down and then some. He's got the sideline. It is Green with a convoy and a touchdown. They're going to lob it up. Let their receiver make a play, and he's got it. It's a touchdown. It's a touchdown. Are you kidding me? There's a hand at Edwards again. Edwards. Oh, and he breaks a tackle, and Edwards is going to score a touchdown. Well, he's going to heave it up into the end zone, and it's intercepted. Strong Thurman team comes out with the victory, but Midland Valley definitely uh, has nothing to hang their head about. My hats go off to uh, Midland Valley. Uh, they don't have nothing to hang their head, head about. But those guys play lights out, and uh, we're very, very fortunate. Brown on the carry, Trey looking for room around the right side. He's got it across midfield, inside the 40. Brown with plenty of room to run. It is A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Harlem. And here's a possibility here. There's Garnett on the sideline. Garnett, touchdown, Harlem. Right here, he said, I'm gone. Right there. And it is right, and it is a first down, and it is a touchdown. Up. Uh, we have a lightning delay here. We are going to take you to MeTV's regularly scheduled programming. The Andy Griffith Show. That's a mighty cheap price for learning that what looks like wrestling to one is dancing to another. We are almost uh, done with the lightning delay here. We apologize for those of you who are thoroughly enjoying the Andy Griffith Show. Hey, guess what, folks? Flag down. Bunbury fakes, pumps, loads, throws, complete. It is Tyke One Johnson, touchdown, Scriven County. The kickoff will be taken by Deshaun Kitchen at the 10-yard line. Made the first man with Kitchen, loose, 30, 40, across midfield, 40, 30, 25, 20, now he's got room to Sean Ketchings, 90 yards, touchdown, South Aiken. Point and well set up to Roberts. Roberts across the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Chris Roberts, South Aiken. It is a unique setup, as you can see. Uh, we are set up outdoors. Yeah. Here in the elements at Westminster Field. Kind of I the, like I, it. I like it. It's a great field. Feels like we're right on the action. He gives to Dorn. Dorn's got room up the middle. Dorn. No one in front of him. Dorn. Touchdown. Augusta Prep. Mettings to throw. Wants it all. There's Dorn. Touchdown. Augusta Prep. Looking to throw. And it is intercepted. Picked off by D'Angelo Durham. His father, Sergeant Major Durham, is in the house tonight. Made the trip from Newport News, Virginia, where he serves our country. The first play of the game, being having that interception and working for his team, that's outstanding. It is Durham straight ahead. Durham, touchdown, Grovetown. Fourth and four. They are running. They Taylor. are. He's they are. Throw. What a call it's by a Nathan. touchdown. Are you kidding? Evans. Looking downfield, throws into traffic, and it's intercepted. That's Williams. A.J. Williams with the pickoff. He's going to be drugged down at the 49. It is going to be Bamberg ball. They lead it 14 zip with the football with under seven and a half to go. Now screen pass over to Siegler. Oh, and he's got room to run. It's going to be a first down and then some. Look at this kid. Touchdown. Second half, all Bamberg Earhart. 
Your final score, 21 to nothing. Tut through the middle, left side, spinning, touchdown, Christian Tut. Knight, deeper, Knight, touchdown. Fourth and two Bears at least appearing to try to go for it from their own 28-yard line. They will. On the ground, McGee has it. McGee breaks free across midfield into Thompson territory at the 47 yard line. What a gutsy call by Eric Parker. I'd let Kelly keep it. Kelly does keep it. To the goal line, Kelly, touchdown, Burke County. Remember the Bulldogs with no timeouts. The Bulldog the ball is loose. Who's on it? Do the Bulldogs have it? This could be the ball game right here. And it is Burke County football. This is a win for the whole community. All of Burke County, all of Waynesboro. It is final. Burke County has toppled the number two team in the state. But I just thought our kids just kept coming back, kept answering the bell, kept trying to find a way to execute, and uh, got it done. Boy, it was a heck of a ball game.